Professor Latif Onundi, a lecturer in the Department of Civil and Water Resources, University of Midwigri is advocating the promulgation of National Code of Practice to curb building collapse in the country. Onundi, the guest speaker, made the call in Apuja at the annual general conference of the Nigerian Institute of Civil Engineers, Abuja chapter. The professor said that the issue of building collapse in Nigeria was highly unfortunate and called on engineers in the country to work hard to curb it. The issue of civil, um, uh, collapse building in Nigeria is highly troubling, very unfortunate, and immediate remedial action must be taken by all and sundry. The professionals cannot do it alone. We cannot play politics with engineering. We do that at our peril. This is why uh, I'm not, I don't want to be an apostle of doom. If we do not take immediate action now, you saw my projection. Many bomb buildings will collapse. And many more people will be killed. Now is the time for action. One, we thank President Buhari for helping the Nigerian engineers with the uh, amended act, Bill 2019, that now empowers the regulatory body to prosecute whoever contravenes the provisions of our code. But even as engineers, we need to work harder. We need to carry out our own responsibility because we do not have a native code of practice. We have to develop material code of practice, design method code of practice. We use the British and other codes of practice for design in this country the weather conditions, culture, and so many other, even in the country alone, we cannot have a uniform condition all through. For her part, Mrs. Aisha Toumar, national chairman of the institute, urged members of the public to always engage professionals, stressing that non-professionals would only be more concerned about profit. Omar said that the conference was an avenue to create awareness on and sensitize stakeholders and citizens to the harm inherent in engaging non-professionals in building projects. Most of the building collapse or the infrastructural collapse, whether roads or buildings or any other structures, most of them, their supervised is only designed by an engineer, but not supervised by by engineer. So in that case, that is why always anytime you have somebody that will speak on building collapse, will end up telling you it will continue. Until we ourselves start patronizing professionals who is supposed to be where and when and how to go about it. Anytime we have an avenue like this, we talk about it so that people will hear us. They should learn how to use professionals. In his remarks, Mr. Dominic Akubo, chairman of Abuja chapter of the institute, said prevention of building collapse was the collective responsibility of all professionals within the built environment. At the end of this conference, we shall collate important policy points arising from this conference and make an official representation to concerned authorities for further necessary actions and for the benefit of the general public. Building collapse prevention is a collective responsibility of all professionals within the built environment with varying degrees of responsibility. I therefore urge all stakeholders, regulatory and professional bodies, and indeed members of the built environment to collaborate effectively and efficiently by genuinely engaging one another towards reducing, if not eradicating the menace of building collapse.